So I started out with this Mad Dog, brand new, out of the box from China. Got it from Cajun Mad Dogs, and it went 51 miles an hour out of the box. First thing I did was I uh, removed that air filter um, canister on there. I tried several locations on the uh, air filter, one with the chrome pipe, one without it, and I got the best results with it just attached to the back of the carburetor like that. I tried the paper and the uh, foam filter. The foam filter got better. So then I took a shot at the exhaust. Um, stock exhaust. I really can't do much better than stock one. There's a baffle in there you can take out. And it's kind of like a two-stage baffle. Um, I got the best results with both of them taken out. It's uh, pretty much a straight shot through. I uh, gotta remove that cat from inside that fat part right there. Made no difference at all. So, uh, not a worthwhile mod. And probably one of the best mods I did was the uh, electric fuel pump. This is a rolling wrench one. Um, I now make a uh, different one, just the homemade version, the ghetto fuel pump for another bike with the same great results. That's one of the best mods. After that, I put a PWK um, Kian 28 millimeter flash slide on it. Um, that was a great mod. I put it on there mainly to prove it couldn't be done. I bought it in anticipation of the uh, big bore kit. The 28 is going to work pretty good for that with the bigger valve head. Much to my surprise, the 28 millimeter carb on a stock 150 was a great mod. After that, I put a cam in it. I put the T100 Taeda um, cam in there. Probably my favorite cam I've ever used. Um, just made the bike come alive. What a good mod that was. And uh, it was faster, it accelerated harder. Everything about it was great. It's a mid range cam. I think I'll go with the mid or low range cam from now on and not try to find a high end cam like an A9. I started making really good power at that point, so I went back and tried the, uh, the NCY 115mm gold variator in the 842 belt. I had tried an 842 belt before when the bike was still stock and it was a flop. It actually made uh, less speed. Uh, it was just geared too high for the power it had. But now with the added power that I've got from the cam and the carb and all the things we just did, um, the variator and the 115 millimeter size and the 842 belt turned out to be another great mod and pick then I put the big bore kit on the bike um, it's a 171 kit it's the largest size you can put in there without boring the case um, so you're talking about 20 cc's more um, people were surprised how little it gave me I didn't expect that much it's not a mathematical equation if it were a 50 goes 30 miles an hour stock so that means a 150 would do 90 miles an hour stock and that's not going to happen so yeah it's uh there's a lot of diminishing returns they say there's no replacement for displacement but uh, it's not entirely true i use the uh, taida um, 171 kit or 61 millimeter um, kit along with their uh, head the head is advertised as a big valve head the valves weren't any bigger the intake port was bigger, the exhaust port might have been a little bit bigger, but the valves were identical size. Um, the valve springs were the same, so yeah, you're still not going to get over nine grand with this thing without floating the valves. But it seemed to make good power with the uh, big bore kit, enough that I was turning about 9,000 RPM, so that's when I went ahead and put the uh, gear up kit in the back. And um, that gave me another couple of miles an hour. Um, nothing too earth shaking. I used the um, 3714, I think, so 14% increase. But overall, pretty happy with it. Um, the speeds on the uh, GoPro were about a mile an hour slower than my actual um, phone app GPS speeds. So, uh, but on the uh, phone app, it's doing 70. On the GPS speedometer, it's doing about 71 or 2, which is weird. And then on my uh, GoPro, I'm doing 69.